Hi, best friend. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm very happy. Very happy. <laughs> I'm with Victoria. She's my bestie. Hello, you guys. Let me just say something before we sort of start the show. And welcome okay. to another exciting episode. Welcome to another exciting episode of oh, Feel It Real Fun, fun. That's right. on our 10th of December, That's 2019. Right. Triple D Yasmin. Triple D Gaza. Hello, Lynn. Lynn. Oh, my God. What a show we're going to have today, guys. Jennifer's watching as well. Cool. Today, we're going to talk about how to be as little children and have that help your manifesting big time, Yolanda. Welcome to the show. Joy is watching as well. Because if you miss this bit, it all becomes really weird. Uh, loco de la cabeza versus like boom, cool. right? Oh, uh, if there's if you guys hear an obscene <laughs> beep, that'll be Yasmin Maxwell driving yes. past. <laughs> right? Yep. So Charlene so, is here as well. Lynn, Cara, go to freenevel.com. Go to freenevel.com. Go there right now. Get on that two to one email list. Right? Pseudo random goodness like this. Was sent out today. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. It's a structured program, right? 25 minutes a day or so to really rock your world. Yeah. Old. A lot of and fun. for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. Feel it real fun. I mean, like some people make it feel it real serious, feel it real struggle, feel it real hard, feel it real complicated. complicated. Uh, we're into feel it real fun. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So, Victoria, yes. would you like to start today with today's <laughs> Neville Gutter quote that went out to the 221 email, email list, list today? <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. So, the first step in changing the future is desire. That is, define your objective. Know definitely what you want. Oh, my God. I want a BMW 325i black with black leather seats, six-cylinder engine, brand new Pirelli tires, dual exhaust. Uh, I, I, I want it to have an AM, FM radio, a cassette player. Right, I know. Some people say you don't need a cassette player, but mm. because I've got this massive cassette collection, I a want it to come from a collection. little old lady in Pasadena, so they <laughs> have to ship it across and I have to sit on the wrong side of the car to drive on the proper side. To... How am I doing for defining my objective? No. <laughs> no. All right, that's no. not what we want. Define, All right. just know definitely what you want. All right, so this is the first step. That's what we're going to cover today, right? And we're going to cover a little bit from the end of the quote as well. So if you watch today's show, make sure you watch tomorrow's show and the show after, right? Oh. Because this is going to be a three-show series, yeah? right? Right. So the first step is de is desire. What does the devil say? You must do what, Victoria? Define your objective. You must know definitely what? You want. All right, so. Yes. Cool. So we've got a really cool way of getting this just right. Yeah. Right? Because I want you to I want you all today yes. to go to the shops. Mm -hmm. And I want you to watch little kids. Yeah. Because they know what they want. Yeah. Yeah. They they they, 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 do. they, they, they want a candy bar. They want to go like, to Disneyland. I want, that one. I want a coloring book. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's it's not like I want a thirty two page coloring book that is numbered in Roman numerals and has all sorts of different things in it. And it was published in Kansas. It's going to be published in Kansas, right? <laughs> yeah, little kids, they know what they want. They just, you can watch them feel the desire. Right? There she oh, goes. Five, there <laughs> she goes. Unbelievable. See you, yes. <laughs> right. Right, she's winding up our dogs. Mm. Meanwhile, oh, yes. thank you, Pearl Berry. Oh, uh, sweet. You're on part two. No, we're in part one. All right. All right wrong link, Pearl. <laughs> wrong. Oh. Sorry. But he's true. trying. Oh, he's not that good anymore. Right? I mean, like, we're just going to have to take him out to the pasture. And yeah. uh, that's right. So, the first step is knowing your desire. Be as little children. A little children knows a puppy. Mm. Right? What kind of dog? What kind of dog would work best with the kids? What kind of dog would work best with the neighbor's kids? Because you know how they are. What? <laughs> I mean, like, like when we look at a cost and benefit analysis for the dog, probably a smaller a small dog, dog eat eats less, less but yes. a bigger dog they can ride, right? So it's like oh, they can God. ride like a pony, right? <laughs> so maybe we should get one of those, right? So yes. if you find yourself doing this, this is probably not it. Versus a puppy, I want it. Can we call it Emmett? <laughs> Emmett? Emmett? <laughs> Emmett? Emmett? Right. <laughs> Mike is here. 
Boom. By your mic. <laughs> Lynn says they know what they want moment by moment. Here's a big one, guys. And I'm yeah. glad Lynn brought this up because I was going to go there, but I haven't yet, but will now. <sighs> because on a moment by moment basis, when I get an email that says, I've never had a win. I've been doing this for three years. Every day I use all 17 methods. I even added in a couple things of my own that I thought were kooky and cool. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. Yeah. It's the, Neville says the moment you feel a desire, that's when you move into its assumption. That's not when you try to force it real. It's not when you try to like, like. Mm. well, in case the feel it real doesn't work, I'll use a vision board. Yes, as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a vision Just, board. Yeah. Second guess myself. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe even yeah, yeah, so do or, something else as well. Yeah, like purple undies <laughs> or something, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, yes. this is Victoria. Yes. Be as little children. You'll notice, like, what do I always talk about? I talk about Victoria's what? But, no. Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but you I talk, talk about her yum, yum yeah. right? What do little kids do? Yum. Mm. What do cranky people do? Well, I did get egg rolls at a place in Pasadena, like where Gaza got his car. <laughs> and then, like, there was this, but this other place, but maybe it's not really an egg roll, but a spring roll. But because a spring roll, back when I first had them and was disappointed, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, <coughs> right? Yum. You get it? I imagine Yum. Right? Mm. By the way, what's for lunch today, Victoria? Oh, yeah. What did we get? Chicken thigh fillets. Chicken thigh fillets. Mm. Yum, guys. And we got them from this place. They, it's it's the slow-grown chicken. Slow I don't even know what it means, yeah. but the bones are actually straight and Organic, long. Organic, biodynamic. Yeah, yeah. Like there's there's no bad-bad in it, right? Because no. we love chicken that tastes like chicken. Yeah. Right? Mm. So I imagine her young. So I don't go, right? So what her young means today is it's going to be chicken raised by a little girl named Becky. And yeah. Becky grows them really slow. And her Aunt Matilda, and they put them a third shelf down on the left, 52% off at precisely $6.15 per... No, what do I want? I want a yummy meal. What implies that yummy meal? Yum. Mm -hmm. Are you texting while you're driving, Yasmin and Maxwell? <laughs> Wait up. That's a lot mm. of writing for someone that just went beefy. I'll say. Right? Say. Disappointment. Adequate planning. <laughs> all right, so the first step, know what you want. Yeah. Don't plan out all the steps. Don't disappoint yourself. It's going to be Friday. Tim yeah. says a kid's imagination is huge. You know, we're just exploring that mm. on the group, right? Because somebody mentioned something about if the TV is on while you're sleeping, does that programming that they put into the drug commercial subconsciously enter your mind and cause you to get disease. It's like, fuck man, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. When you get to discover you're bigger than a TV commercial, Neville didn't hide from the newspaper. Neville, knew, Neville had a desire. He gave life to it. He understood your reactions create your reality because, I mean, if you're watching the news and, and like for, you know, just being terrified the whole day, stop it. Mm -hmm. Right? You're not getting how big you are. You want to discover how big you are like Tim says, a child's imagination is huge. You're huge, right? The moment you feel a desire, you move into its assumption. Then you feel another desire, and you move into its assumption. And then you feel what, Victoria? Another desire. Oh, oh my God. And move into its assumption. Mm -mm -mm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Off camera. <laughs> so I think that's pretty good. Yes. Tomorrow we've got two more things we're going to do. Or we're going to go on to step two, two and then we'll go tomorrow. on to step three at yes. the day after that. Yes. And so, Bill, that link you can save for tomorrow. That's right. Save it for tomorrow. <laughs> Type yes. it, start typing it now for tomorrow, real slow, Bill. <laughs> slow cool. Bill. Right. Excellent. So that was a fast show. That was, was only really like eight fast. minutes. Yeah, you'll wow. be able to put this up on Insta. I tell you what, let's do one more tiny bit, shall we? One more tiny bit. Let's let's do the end of the thing because we'll the repeat end. that all three times. Okay. So there's four parts to the three steps. So, but the fourth part is really important. So, Victoria, would you read that fourth? Fourth bit? part. Yes. So you must participate in the imaginary action, not merely stand back and look on, but feel that you are actually performing the action so that the imaginary sensation is real to you. Right, so here's the thing, right? I don't imagine, I don't define all the bits about the chicken. I don't even imagine getting the chicken. I imagine the yum that follows the meal or the yum whenever she finds out what the meal's gonna be. Mm -hmm. You get it? It's the yum. It's, yes. it's the yum, it's the yum. So, so by the way, it's not like I watch Victoria do yum. <laughs> right? No, no, no. I experience hearing her yum yeah. that implies my wish is fulfilled, and that's why we get these awesome things. 
Hmm. Right? So you must participate in the hmm. imaginary action. And that doesn't mean I have to say yum with her. It just means I. you really want to feel... Uh, how would I feel if she was having a yum about lunch? Oh, I hear her yum. Hearing is not a passive thing. Hearing it. Hmm. Uh, yum. Yeah. So... Cool. All right. Victoria? Yes. Let us be gone. Let us be gone. <laughs> Unless there's something you wish to add in as well. No, I wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So shut the heavy lid. Shut the heavy lid. Okay. So we, you do have to ask them your favorite question in the oh, whole Oh, yes, world. I know. So my favorite question is, <clears throat> what was your strawberry bit? What was your strawberry bit? We yes. went out yesterday for Adventure Monday. We did. Because we had a desire a while back. The desire was to bust up the routine some, right? So we imagined... The routine busted up, having some fun, getting yes. out, dating, dating and mating. Right? Yes. So we go out on Adventure Monday, we date and mate. Every week. Leave it. What's he looking at? Don't know. Oh, it flies. Spot. Yeah. A spider or something. Or anyway, spider web. Bruce just ate a spider. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so we imagine that. We move into the state of that wish fulfilled. So yesterday we were a mini dumpling. Mm. And at the end of the meal, you've got a whole bunch of little like, little yay, bits. boom, her strawberry yes. bit. What's her strawberry bit? What's, what's she going to carry around in her mouth yes. for hours yeah, what lingers what lingers yes. so what's your strawberry bit guys cool so we did that uh, we've so. done one yep. so now what now, we do is say go to freenevel.com get on that 221 email list it's free it's pseudo random goodness like this show and half the commentary yeah pseudo random <laughs> and it's good it's like a power snack cool go to manifestingmasterycourse.com those are like meals guys a little 25 minute meal oh my god it'll rock your world change your life that's where over 85 percent of our success stories come from and for refunds go to feelitrealfun.com that's right you can watch a whole bunch of these like yeah. probably getting close to a thousand now probably at least actually yeah probably at because least because we've got the shorts we've got the shorts <laughs> yes that's right Okay. And you can also follow us on the Insta. And we've got the podcast. Podcasts. And like really cool. Yeah. So, Victoria. Okay. All right. Have a great you, day you know, night. Thanks for tuning in. You know and we'll catch you tomorrow, tomorrow for the second tomorrow. step. Tomorrow. We love you. Tomorrow. tomorrow.